high floss tube. It's mini from all X's. I'm here. So don't worry about all the time that, that I haven't been here. I'm here today. And today is December 24th, 2018. Yes, it's Christmas Eve. And I've got on my Christmassy red shirt. So, I wanted to make this short and sweet, but you deserve to be acknowledged. So, I'm just going to start calling out names. Linda Coles, um, Mary Cat Stitches, Louise Setzer, Sharon Peterson, Hi Jane, hope you're feeling better. Kathy Davis, Lady R. I love her. She when she writes comments, she Lady Mini. So I'm a lady. Uh, Stitchy Rebel. Uh, Liz Tedlock. Helene Fior. Darlene Bumgardner. Peaches C. Lady Daghart. Tina Deloche. Janet Prather. Jo Marie Hoggle, Drusella Bro Pendleberry, Kaylin Francis, Lori Walt, Amanda Williams, Susan Arrigo, Catherine, Ruth, one stitch at a time, uh, Linda Craig, a Beulah Tap. 65, that's Pauline S. Okay. Samira. Hi, Samira. EJ Crates. EJ, I'll talk about you later. Love Music. ISO. Jasmine. Okay. Jackie Dean. My, my handwriting is terrible, so it's, I'm, I'm trying to read that and pronounce names at the same time. Nostalgic Needlework, Renee. Uh, the Crafty Curator, hi, Letitia. Nadine Augustine. Um, my notes say, welcome back to Cross Stitch. Oh, so don't worry about supplies. Uh, we'll enable you. The Slavic Farm, Laura Reed. Nett Davis, Inez Harrell, Connie G, hi Connie, uh, Lady Stamp, Ladybug Stamper, Malene Mo, uh, Michelle Bendy, hi Michelle, uh, Dory K, Lori S, this is Once Upon a Stitch. Had Frankie Easter, Sandy Bakos, Karen Davis, Macon. Love you, darling. Mel uh, Melanie Smith and Seaweed Otter. Okay, I didn't want to go through all the my little comments, but I, I know when I when I I've commented back with them already, but I just wanted to acknowledge that these were my commenters on my last video. And I really appreciate you all. I love you. I love it. And you stick with me. Even though I neglect you. You hang in there with me. And I really appreciate it. So thank you all. Um, okay. Um, I started on. I was. Last, last month. I was, Well I was working on my. Using my. Spinning my wheel. On my wheel of whips. And I started the month out. Well I started where I left off. From my last video. After then I started the same thing. I started working, uh, working on my whips. And. I get. My stitchy bug. I don't know if he. His name is Ray Ray. By the way. But he, um, yes, I named my stitchy book. Um, I don't know. He just went off the wheels. 
he just, you know, I couldn't control him. So, I don't know if I showed this, and no, I, I don't think I did. I think I started this, this was after my last video. I showed it on Instagram, and for some reason, I wanted to do a, a drum. I know what it was. I had bought the uh, hands-on design, I think it was, the drum. The late, uh, One of the Halloween, I think it was the drum, I believe it was. And I wanted to stitch it, and I, but I wanted to do a practice drum. So, I took this from the Just Cross Stitch uh, magazine. It's the Christmas issue. And it's just, it just says, Merry Christmas. And this is it. I was so excited about stitching this and getting it finished. I stitched Christmas. I didn't stitch Mary. So I had to, I stitched that through the fabric and the, the press on stabilizer that I, s <laughs> I ironed on. So I had to stitch through that to put the Mary in there. Um, I finally got it. I got it lined up. You can barely tell. That's my seam. Oh, that's smoky out. He's in a box. And this is the fabric I chose to put on the top. Happy Holidays. And on the bottom. I just put a piece of cardboard and a little batting. So there's my first first ever drum. Merry Christmas with the Christmas trees. I'm proud of it. I like the I did my hand stitching around the, the top and the bottom. Came out really good. So I'll be making more drones. And this one is squishy because there's no it's just filled with um Fiber fill, polyfill. That's all I had to stuff it with. So there you go. That's my first ever drum. Uh, my notes, I had spun the wheel. And one night on the, well this was, uh, what was it? The 25th, 25th of November, right after Thanksgiving. I was still spinning my wheel. So I spun my wheel and I decided I was going to go on to virtual stitchers which is a just a little group uh, that you can join us on Facebook and they have uh, hey, uh, what do you call it uh, hangouts groups where you can actually see each other and stitch together and I had drawn my um, I pulled out my um, I love yoga chart and I put in a few more ladies I don't have their arms and legs but the arms and legs are just uh, tiny back stitch lines but I think I stitched uh, let's see one two three four five I stitched five ladies in total during a hangout on virtual stitchers I just need to put their legs in and well you know finish the whole thing but this chart came when I I found it on Etsy and it reminded me so much of Bendy Stitchy's story as how she got her name Bendy Stitchy because she used to do yoga and so that's how she got her name and, and that reminded me so much of her that was Smokey just came in he is Okay, so, now I have a project that I've been working on, and, excuse me, it, it came from, it's not, it's not the actual, um, Erica Michaels book, but I'm using her book as a guide. Smokey, what are you doing? You want to go on camera? Come here. 
Come here. You want to get on camera? Come here. Okay. <sighs> Look, Mookie. Look. Looky, looky. Looky, dear baby. He's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Get down. All right. Scoop. Scoop. Leave my tripod. Okay. So, anyway. Um, I'm using this just as a guide. Um, to finish a project that I started years and years ago. And this is so far, this is where I've gotten. This was with my year of birthday cakes. And I've got all of the pages... And they're, they're assigned fabric cut out. And I've got the stabilizer uh, ironed on. All I need now is a cover. I thought about that. I'm like, I don't have a cover. So I'm going to have to uh, develop some de designing skills and try to design a cover for the front of my book and I'm going to put that together one day in hopefully in the year 2019 so I have another list of people I want to acknowledge and say thank you so much I decorate my fireplace mantle with my Christmas cards so they're all on display they're all thumb tacked in and uh. so I won't pull them down but I just wanted to acknowledge I get my Christmas cards so I received Christmas card from Steph Pam and Steph thank you very much Angie but my on floss tube uh, thank you Angie I really appreciate it and I get I get my uh, notepad so thank you very much. I love that. Um, I get a card from Olivia and Elena B, the B sisters. Uh, Taiwana, thank you, Taiwana. My lovely friend Irene. Uh, the adorable Audrey and Victoria Owens. Phyllis, thank you, Phyllis. And Karen Macon, you are a sweetheart. I also get gifts from these last, uh, from Karen and Victoria and Angie. And I'll show you those later, in in a little bit. So, but thank you, ladies. Those are the end of my notes. I wanted to make sure I acknowledged you guys and properly thank you. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You warm my heart. You warm my house. You helped me decorate my Christmas, so thank you, thank you. Um, okay, what, what's next? Let's see, my gifts. I'll go. I'll just go through my gifts quickly here. From Victoria and Audrey, I can't pronounce Mel melancholy. From Jardin Privé. I haven't seen I hadn't seen this one before but I like that it has alphabets it has the little flower that's a tulip and it has a person in it so I, I really like that I've never seen that one before I like that one okay now Karen bless her heart I get two packages. Karen's going to be my roommate at uh, StitchCon 2019 in June. I can't wait. But I got the 
embroideries. She knows I love. She knows I love Joan Elliott. So get the embroideries. It's lovely. It's beautiful. I didn't have this one, so I love that one. And she knows I well, along with Joan Elliott, she knows I love Joan Elliott mermaids. So I've got the kit. I've got the kit. This one I think is called um I'm not sure. Oh, it just has mermaid, but I've got this kit. And it's a kit. It has all the beautiful beads and the threads. And the fabric. So thank you, Karen. And it's more. There's more. Um, I got a beautiful card from Karen. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Thank you. And she sent me another one for my collection. A lavender and lace and it's Angel of Freedom oh I'm sorry it's the Angel of Freedom I love it I love it so thank you Karen thank you very much I love that one and I had done a Oberlin sampler a while back um, and it said needle worker. And I believe these are out of print. I believe these are out of print. And I don't know where you can get them from. But however, this one it does have <laughs> it has a in stitches. Alexandria Virginia in stitches. Um, I don't know if this was Karen, I don't know if you ordered this, but it has a sticker from In Stitches. And I'm not sure if this is out. I think these are out of print. Anyway. Virginia. Gotta stitch this one. It's Virginia. It has... It has a lighthouse, a cardinal... There's flowers, okay, Jamestown, Richmond, Lynchburg, Appomattox, Virginia Beach, Alexandria. It has Alexandria written on it. <sighs> okay, Williamsburg, Roanoke, Norfolk, Fredericksburg, Manassas, and Chesapeake Bay. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and it has all the floss. Ah, uh, Karen. I need to hug you. Thank you. Love it. Love them. And she sent me also this one. I wanted to do it last because it's small and I didn't want to lose it. A um, needle minder. Isn't she gorgeous? Buy you treasure. Beauty. It's beautiful. It matches my little button. A Bayou Beauty button. You don't mind her. So I have a set. So thank you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Okay. So those were my gifts. I love. I love that people think of me. Um. It just it just warms my heart. <sighs> okay, so should I do stash or the only whip that I've worked on since my last video was the I love yoga because I stopped and I did. I worked on this, I worked on, made, I created this, uh, I did my drum, I stitched the, I did the cross stitch, I did, I did the finishing on it, um, 
I finished a couple of whips. And new starts. Okay, so I'll show you this here. And I'll start this way. Okay. I don't know if I showed, I don't think I showed this one before. Well, I've showed it before, but I haven't showed it finished. This is a Silver Creek Sampler. And it's beautiful. I love it. This, and this is, this fabric is pictured this plus, I think it's Echo, I believe. It says, no winter lasts forever, no spring skips its turn. And I stitched it in 2018. Well, I had stitched the, the bottom part. And stitched in the 2018, so I had to finish it this year. Be, you know, the, the stitching, because it was already, the date was already stitched in. <laughs> so I had to finish it. So... That's that one. This was a whip. This is Dare to Fly, another Silver Creek sampler. And this is Le Leslie's. Oh, I can't forget. Oh, it's terrible getting old. Here we go. It's Colorous. Colorous. And I chose this fabric because of the words. And it just reminded me of a beautiful sky. And it's maybe it's sunset or sunrise with the pinks and the yellow as the sun. And the blue for the sky. And where else do you fly? It's a life is quickly racing by. Advent adventures fill the open sky. Don't wait to take a try. Just be a bird and dare to fly. I love that. So, this is Dare to Fly. And it's been folded. So, excuse the wrinkles. And one day I'll, it'll either be a pillow or I'll frame it or, I don't know. Okay, the next one. And see, this is why I haven't worked on any um, whips. Because I, um, I, I, I just started stuff. This is a, this is from Little House Needleworks. It's on white Monaco. Um, I just wanted to stitch some Christmas. So I pulled this out, paid it for a while, and this is Christmas Rose. I did my little skin conversion. And this will be, um, Christmas ornament. Hopefully by next Christmas, and I can put it on my tree, that uh, maybe I'll be able to put up this year. I mean next year, because um, somebody likes to <laughs> parkour. And I was afraid that uh, Smokey was going to do some parkour in my Christmas tree, so I just let, we didn't, we didn't put up a tree this year. Okay, here's another little start. Well, here's one that I also wanted some Christmas. And I, kept, I always kept saying that I hate them. Well, I'll put it this way. Hopefully, this fad will end this year. And we can finally move on to something else for Christmas next year. And it's... This darn red truck. Well, and I had a red truck. I had a red um, Ford Explorer sports track. And it hit. It was a truck. My husband has a red truck. 
but it was just everywhere. So I didn't know what else to do with this fabric. First of all, I've been looking at it and wondering like what can I put on here. So I decided to put this on. And I stitched this from the uh, Just Cross Stitch uh, magazine. And I have the perfect... Oh, There is some stitched... Along with the dots, there are a couple stitched snowflakes. And I found some more. So, when I finish this one for my tree next year, or my bowl, it'll have snowflakes on it. Okay, so hopefully <laughs> we'll find something else for next year. No more red trucks. And this little piece I had for quite a while. This is from the Cricut Collection. And it just says, please, just one more X. And I, like I said, my stitchy bug had been going crazy. I thought he was on crack for a while. And he wouldn't slow down he just hit stitch 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 so this is what I have and I think she's adorable and they're smoky well not really anyway okay and then I think I started this on the 19th of December and I finished it last night. It's a Ursula Michael, the Christmas stocking words. So I got in my Christmas, I got my Christmas um, stitching out of my system, and I was watching. Some floss tube last night, and I hadn't watched Danielle Stitcherista in a while, and she was working on a new project that really, really, really tempted me. And I couldn't help myself after I finished my stocking. Stitcherista. I haven't checked to see if you get my message. But your Bob Ross looked like looked to me like Lionel Richie. I laughed so hard at your video. It was a white. She was painting a Bob Ross paint by number. And this is your fault, Danielle. This is your fault. Immediately, while I was, after I was started watching you. Pulled out my Good Morning Maui. It's a Good Morning Maui on Etsy. And it's Happy Accidents. It's on 14 count oatmeal Ada. And that's what I'll be stitching on after this video. But I love it. It's so cute. And Danielle, yes. Lionel Rich. Okay. Now. Okay. I have one more. Um, uh, one more stack of things to show you. And this is my stash. Um, this is my stash. This is what, and it's really not a lot. I haven't made a lot of purchases lately. 
Um, so I'm saving my. I have to save my coins because I have retreats to go to next year, and I want to be able to purchase more stash. So I'm going to. I've been trying to. Um, uh, you know, tone down my spending uh, and save my money. So, first of all, I'm going to show you some freebies I get. Okay, well, this isn't a freebie, but okay, where did I get this from? Thea Duke. It says the gift of stitching dot com issue thirty three October two thousand eight. Page nineteen. This is Birds of a Feather. I'm not sure where I get this from. Oh, Victoria Sampler. Victoria Sampler website. It's a freebie. Freebie. Okay. This is from um, from DMC. And Believe it or not, I play. I have played chess before. My husband and I used to play chess. We actually used to play chess. I don't know why we stopped. Busy, I guess. And I know how to play cards. Love this. So these were some freebies on the DMC website. So those are the DMC freebies. Let's see freebies. <laughs> okay. This is from Leslie Tier. That's a freebie from her website. Little Lady Sewing Set. This is a freebie from the Little Stitcher. Okay, uh, it says needle case and pin cushion. So the small one you, you can make a pin cushion out of. And this is a freebie from another freebie from um, Victoria Sampler. Scissors Sampler Stitching Instructions. Okay. And that's the. That's what it looks like. If you're interested, scissors. Okay. So those are some freebies I picked up. Um, this was the drum. I think I showed it to you before, but this is hands-on design. Uh, Live within your harvest. I like this. So this is the drum that um, prompted my practice. Okay, and it has the velveteen, the beautiful velveteen. And I have the specialty threads, but it isn't fully kitted up yet. So when I get the rest, I'll be ready to start that one. In the meantime, this was, uh, I believe this was, we didn't get a December fabric of the month. This was no, this was October. This was ast asterisk. Beautiful purple. Purple and little pinks and dark blues. So it's very nice. This is a 28 count Lugana. I think I'm going to change my thread count maybe to 32. I believe, maybe. I haven't decided yet and haven't told Leslie yet. 
this is summer uh, incoming storm this was our November uh, fabric of the month beautiful it is gorgeous gorgeous blue so forget that piece this I was given at the Christmas party at in stitches it's a little Christmas chart and we actually get the fabric to do it with so got that um stash I picked up this I had a while and well no I didn't I picked this up because I wanted to do something for Easter and I think this may be my New Year's start. At least one of my New Year's starts. I don't know how many I'll do for New Year's. Beginning of New Year's. Maybe just the one. I don't know. But this is, here's, here a peep, there a peep. And this is from Brenda Gervais. And I decided I was going to stitch it on uh, this piece of fabric is a piece of linen it doesn't have a name but it's from Seraphim hand dyed fabrics by Lori oh, and I think this is beautiful fabric it's gorgeous it's a pastel it has greens and blues and pinks and it's gorgeous and I think that would make a perfect Easter decoration. And I have some, I have a uh, an idea of how I want it um, finished. There's two fancy flosses. Well, there were several fancy flosses. I think that were. Yeah, general arts, embroidery flaws. I only got two of them because everything is so small. I didn't think the variegation would actually show up, so it didn't make sense. I can use I can substitute um, DMC, but I did get the mint julep. For her dress. Isn't that pretty? And I got some. Well. It was available. So I got hickory sticks. And it was there. So you know. They had some. So while I was there. And they had some. I got some. I get that and I found a piece of vintage country mocha 32 count Belfast linen you know what that looks like so I won't even take it out vintage country mocha okay and I received my cross stitch just cross stitch magazine for February I like that one. That's pretty. I don't think I've gone through. I haven't gone through here and 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 ooh, and tagged anything yet. That's pretty. That's really pretty. The cover picture. That's pretty. It has uh, specialty stitches in it. That one. Okay, so I got that one. And then yesterday, while we were out, um, we went to Barnes and Nobles. And normally, I stopped my subscriptions of these magazines because I thought, well, I wasn't getting what I was expecting. You know, what I was used to. To me, the, some of the charts weren't as, they weren't my style put it that way and 
to save a little, save that money I could. And I'm running out of space also, so a lot of contributing factors. But I decided if I wanted uh, the magazines, I have the digital down. I'm, I have the capability to buy the digital downloads, or I could go to Barnes and Nobles and if I wanted to actually get a magazine. So since I was there, I, I, I checked theirs out, and they don't have a great selection. I don't know why, but they have almost phased out their cross stitch magazines all you can find now is a lot of knitting and crochet which I do neither of so but I did get this one it's the what is this I mean, it's harder and harder to figure out which magazine, which issue this is. 75, I believe it is. I'm not even sure if this is the latest one. But this is the one they had in the store. World of Cross Stitch. World of Cross Stitching. And it came with this little chart, which is cute, and something that I really wanted. This is why I bought the magazine, so I can get this and try it. It's the new Toile, I think it is Toile, the, the, the Sparkly DMC. And it had this one in the package. See the sparkle? I love that blue. And I think I'm going to... I wanted to try it maybe on something. Just to see how it works and how it stitches. Before I invest in the set. So, I got this magazine. I haven't went through it and... and, and tagged anything in it yet that's coming next and then when I saw this I, w I just fell in love with this Santa from the cross stitch gold uh, I don't know which edition this one is 51 issue oh uh, January February cross stitch gold I canceled this no so well, I let it expire. And like I said, I can either download them or pick one up. So, and I haven't gone through and tagged anything in this one yet either. So, while this video is uploading, that's what I think I'll do. And I'll get start my Christmas dinner prep. And that's it. I guess that's it. That's all I have to show you. I want to, and now, if I'm not, hopefully it won't take me another over a month to make another video, and I'll be more prepared with my 2019. Um, not my plans. I don't want to plan anything. I'm not going to schedule. But I'll let you know what I'm, you know, maybe working on. And what I plan on doing. Uh, it's not actually a plan or a schedule or um, a rotation or anything. But I'll let you know. And, um... I'll go through and I'll do a probably a whip parade maybe maybe one video I'll do my whip parade and then I'll do a recap on what I finished this year so to all you lovely people out there 
I wish you the very best in these times that we live in. Um, I know this time of year for a lot of people, including myself, um, it's very hard because it brings back so many memories, good and bad. The, the, the good memories is what I try to focus on. Um, the, the Christmas songs, these are the occasions that actually stood out in most people's lives. The family gatherings. And a lot of times, as now as we are getting older, so have our families. And some of our family members are no longer with us. But this is when you enjoy them through your memories. And I hope everybody has beautiful Christmas memories of loved ones that are no longer with us. And to me, the best way to get through this part of the year is to speak of those memories. You know, if you hold this in, yes, it makes you sad. You don't want, you know, you, it, it, it makes your holidays not as joyous. But if you share those memories and you speak about them, those people are there with you. And they'll always be with you here in your heart. And you just, it makes you happy when you, when you think of those and you speak about them. And like I say, that, that's, the, that's the best part, that you still have them in your heart and you're able to remember them and you move on. You don't get over grief. Grief never leaves you. Uh, the sadness is always there, but you can make yourself, um, you can make it more cheerful by, I believe, by uh, speaking about them and um, I'm rambling now. Um, but I just want to wish everyone the very, very best Christmas and a very safe New Year's. So I will see you in 2019. Love you all. Bye-bye.